An emergency takes on a special urgency when the life of a loved one is in our own hands. I'm William Shackner. Tonight, true stories of situations that challenge those involved to set aside their fears on Rescue 911. We begin on November 30th, 1990, outside the small town of Conroe, Texas, where 23-year-old Kelly McWhorter was getting ready to leave on a trip with her three children. We were going to my mother's in Houston for the weekend, and Brandon was helping. Brandon's always a big help. Sorry, right, get the rest of it. You watching Whitney? I just okay, we'll be taken right Whitney and Nicole to get their shots, their immunization shots, and spent three hours there, so we were late coming home. While the two youngest children waited in the car, six-year-old Brandon was helping their mother pack for the trip. He checks things off in his head, you know, do we have this, do we have that? You need to go shut the front door. He's just, you know, he's the man at the house. That's just all there is to it. Even though he's only six, he's a big help. Uh, I forgot to get the roast. Y'all stay right here. I'll be right back. She okay. forgot the meat, and so she went in. I said, I better, I want to go say something. I should have never left the car running with them in it. I looked out the window and the car was rolling towards the lake. to um, open the door, but she wouldn't. Apparently, two-year-old Nikki had set the automatic door locks. No matter how hard I cried or screamed, she wouldn't come to the door. No! The car was singing. I could see the water coming up, and I couldn't get in. I could, I could see him, but I couldn't touch him. There was nothing I could do. When Kelly McWhorter's car ran into the pond behind her house, her two young daughters were trapped inside. While her six-year-old son Brandon called 911, Kelly struggled to free the girls from the locked car. I saw she trying to get in the back. She couldn't, so then I called 911. a screen which tells us where he's calling from. We were trying to find out exactly where the car was in relation to where he was. Is there an adult there? Yeah, it's my mom. Let me talk to your mom. He's in the, he's in the lake. She's in the lake? Yeah. You saw him go in the lake? Yes. How old are you? Six. You're six years old? It's breaking. Oh, okay, oh, we're, get we're getting an ambulance oh. on the way up there. Try to get me some kind of the Montgomery County Emergency Communications District passed the word, and an ambulance was dispatched to the general area the car was coming from to search for the car. We were trying to figure out in our own mind where a car could have gained access to water. It never occurred that it could be a pond. I need to know where you are, okay? Okay. Were you in the car with them? No. Is the car close to where you're calling from? No. No, I'm in the not. house. Is the car yes. right there by your house, hon? No, it, it, it's in the lake leaking. It's on the lake? Yes. Okay, is your house near the lake? No. I don't know, I don't understand. 
maybe it was a better location. Medic 5 alarm, do you have the dive team in route at this time? Do you have us a better location? We can't place this all. When we started looking for water, we were looking for Lake Conroe or the river. Uh, some of the bodies of water that we were aware of. That lake, uh, they call it a lake, covers a lot of area out here. Help! I knew that I had to get him out because the front end of the car was already so far under that I knew the whole car was eventually going to be underwater. I need to know, I need to have a better idea where you are, okay? Okay. I need to know exactly where you are, okay? okay. Life without the girls, you know, flashed through my mind. I don't think I could live without him. Across the pond, Rob and Brock and her husband David were going for a ride in their new truck. I kind of glanced over at Kelly's house and I said to Dave, Kelly's car is in the water. I heard Kelly screaming and I realized the babies were in the car. The Brock's neighbor, Randy Welch, was just getting home from work. I didn't know what was going on. I just seen the car out in the middle of the lake and I knew I had to get over. I mean. You know, it was pound to the metal to get there. How far is the house from where the car is? The car is about, I don't know how she is, but it's a long way, and I'm right here by the door. Well, it's can you see? And then it comes in the back. Because the station wagon's back door lock was broken, Dad. Kelly finally managed to force it open. Get in the car. I'm trying. People are coming. By this time, it's a good 10 yards in the pond. Kelly's still hanging on. She's still quite hysterical. Kelly, come on! Oh, God! All right, kids! All right, kids! Kelly, the toddler the was right there at the back seat, but I didn't know where the baby was at. There's water up to the bottom of the dashboard. I don't know if the baby could have been there and fell in the water. I've got to check. Can you see the car from where you are? Yes. This is where okay. I can see people helping my mom and my baby. There's not a grown-up there with you? No. There's some people here. It's big. Are you at a store? No, this is a house. Is that your house? It's a trailer house. It's a trailer house? Yeah. When you go forward, there's some boats. Okay. Oh, my God. They swim. I don't know how long she'd been there, but she was getting pretty wore out. You could tell, Franny. Here's my mom. Wait a minute. Mama, come talk! Okay. Mama! I called 911. That's what I could. Just give it, give it I'm hyperventilating, and I'm actually hunting for the little baby. I know they're niffing in that car somewhere, so I'm hunting. That top road between Lake Conroe Tackle and Conroe Story. South of there blankets piled up all over the back seat, and the baby was right there in the car seat under blankets. Okay. They're trying to get the babies in now. Okay. Come on, Dave. We're sinking here. Got it? Got it? They got one of them out. One of them, they got one of the kids out of the car. And is another one in? Yeah. How old is he? Well, I still got to get the 21 month old out. Okay, you got a 21 month old still in the car. It's going to go under. Oh, Give me your name. Under. What is your name, dear? Kelly. The corner. Kelly. Okay, Kelly, we have they the ambulance, the sheriff's her. department. They got her. They got her. She's they, coming in. They got her. Both of them? Hang on. They're not up here yet. <laughs> Ma'am, are both of the children they out? They got them. They got them both. Both of them? They got them yeah. both out. There's car. nobody else in the water? My car is submerged. It's gone. Well, well, don't worry about the car. Is all the people out? Yeah. Hang on. We're going to get a second and warm. Thank God that back door was open. Okay. As soon as we cleared the vehicle, the vehicle submerged. I had no idea that... Uh, it was going to be as close as it was. If I'd have been five more minutes late, it was, you know, might not have happened the way it did. Sir, will you talk to them for just a second? Talk to them. Oh, yeah, there's somebody in the car. Okay, both kids are out of the car. Yes, we got both of them out of the car, out of the water. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Dispatching a call like this makes me want to go home and just you know, embrace my daughter till I love her. Just let her know, you know, that dad cares. So, 
When paramedic Linda Bargley and her partner arrived, they found the children had escaped without injury. We have two, one of them's maybe three. They were three. underwater. Subsequently, the car's transmission and brakes were found to be bad. I hate that car. I hate it. Even parts of the car bother me. <laughs> I sold it to a junkyard. It's been six months since the accident. Nikki and Whitney were fine. They both slept good that night and played fine the next day. I didn't want my sister to die because um, I want, I, if I didn't have no sister, I didn't have nobody to play with. I fell down, and I saw, then I saw Nikki house, and she fell down. But sometimes she fall on her butt. Because he don't, cause he don't know how to stand on his feet. I'm not sure all six girls would have would have picked up the phone, and he was trying to get help, and I loved him with all my heart. <laughs>